Hello oh guys and welcome back to another episode of the Carter City Manager Career Mode on FIFA 23. Yes guys, we are back with another episode. We're on episode 9 of the Carter City Career Mode. And as you can see, we have our first game up against Watford. So, it should be a little bit of a difficult um, game. Um, we are playing a legendary mode, if you guys uh, don't know. We are playing a legendary mode, so uh, stuff will be a little bit harder. But let's see how we do. Um, as we get underway, Watford have a little mistake. Um, but they do not concede from that. We take a header. That doesn't go win either. Um, Watford on the attack again. They had have have a header that doesn't know that is not able to go in either. They take a shot that goes wide of the post. Um, we somehow get it through them and then we're able to score. We didn't have many chances in the first half, so I was a bit worried on how the game was going to go. And then we get one of these goals, so I was pretty happy. Um, because it doesn't matter how the goal goes in, it is just that we have scored. And as you can see, they score an own goal, which is very unfortunate for them. I don't know what um, the Watford player is doing. I guess he tried to play back to the keeper, and then he gets an own goal. But anyways, we have a little mishap there. They try and take a shot, and um, our goalkeeper saves it to take a header. So yeah, we have a through ball here with Adam Yemi. Adam Yemi has a little bit of a run on goals. He takes a shot. But it goes straight at the keeper. We have the ball with Carney. Carney takes a shot and is saved by the keeper. And yes, guys, we do end up winning this game 2 0. So a very good result um, from the boys. And as you can see, this training thing has always been on. So I decided to just disable it. I swear I disabled it last time, but it put it back on. Um, Thomas Sang. Um, yep, there's been so many offers for him. I accept them all, but. He doesn't want to leave. I don't know why. I might just release him. It is getting annoying getting all these offers and him not leaving. Um, but yes, our next game is against Wigan Athletic. Um, we have the ball here with Rails. He has a lot of uh, space. And that is a horrific tackle. And that is a straight red um, for their player. Yeah, you can't be doing that straight in the back of a player. That is horrific. Um, we have a chance here. Not a very good strike from our player. Robinson has a chance here. Saved by the keeper. Wigan Athletic are on the attack. They pass it into Bennett. And I'm pretty sure that's the one that used to play for Cardiff City. Joe Bennett. I'm pretty sure he used to play for Cardiff. Um, um, if Joe Bennett did used to play for Cardiff, let me know in the comments down below. I'm 99% sure that is him. Um, I don't know what a left back is doing in striker. But anyways, we do end up getting a goal to tie it up 1-1. And that's a very good goal from Anthony Alanga. So he gets his name on the score sheet. They do a cross and then they manage to score. Guys, I don't know what to do about headering on this game. We always can see just by this type of stuff. Rails has a chance here and what a fantastic finish. What an amazing ball and amazing finish from Joe Rails. That is a very good goal and yeah, we're going to have a little bit of replay here. We do a kind of chip over the top and then Rails does a first time volley and that goes in. With the ball is Adam Yemi here. He would take a chance and yeah, when he's in front of the goals like that, he is... Pretty much bound to score. So yes, Adam Yemi with um, another goal. This man is absolutely amazing. Well, Rails has a chance. He takes a shot. Goes straight at the keeper. And the keeper collects that. So that have a cross in. is not able to lead to anything. We have a chance here with Adam Yemi. He would take a shot. It goes wide of the post. He usually doesn't miss some type of shots. But anyways, we have a chance here with Carney. He has a little bit of space. He takes a shot. And... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's his weak foot, so that's not able to go in. It would have been good if we could have got a goal there, but it's the 80th minute here. We have Wintel. Um, he comes off the off the bench, and usually when he comes off the bench or starts, he usually gets quite a bit of goals. So, um, yeah, the midfield position is one we have to think about. Um, anyway, we have a rebound here with Anthony Alanga, so he gets his second goal of the game. And, yeah, we do lead Wigan um, Athletic 5-2, so yeah, very good result if we're able to keep this uh, 88th minute Alanga using his pace he takes it straight at the keeper it's not able to get that in they have a chance here um, I don't know what Kepre is doing guys I don't know what to do with headering on this game my defenders just don't want to head of the ball so Kepre pretty much lets it in and as you can see it is Joe Bennett I'm pretty sure that's one that used to play for Cardiff um, anyways our next game is against Hull City so hopefully we can get a win and as you can see um just doing a little bit of things Deciding to put that left back in because Everton are not happy with his game time, so we've got to change it up a little bit. They take a very good shot, um, it's saved by the keeper. Um, Pelkis takes the shot, and Ogoku is not able to stop that, and 9 minutes in, they're up 1-0. Um, 27th minute, um, 
St. Joseph's uh, actually missed the ball, or actually Kepre missed the ball. They take a shot, and that goalkeeper does, excuse me, doesn't save that. Uh, anyways, Rails has a chance, he scores, and he's able to make it 2-1 in this game. 40th minute here, we give it to Sawyers, Sawyers has a chance, he takes a shot, and yes, our midfielders are scoring more, um, and he gets us 2-2 in this game, it's a very good goal from him, and hopefully we can start the comeback and win this game. 51th minute, um, Capre has the ball, our centre back decides to go on a little bit of an attack, and yes, they do end up fouling our player, um, looks like the head kind of tripped up our player. Um, and yes, we, this is my first free kick on the game, so we're going to see how I can do. Uh, I accidentally messed it up, as you can see here. Uh, I decided to take a shot, and then it brought on another player, so it kind of messed up the timing. I don't know why FIFA did that, but anyways, Adam Yemi gives a good ball to Sawyer. Sawyer shoots, and that goes straight in the top left corner, so a very good shot from him. And then, yeah, they do the celebration. I'm not exactly sure what the celebration is. Um... I'm pretty sure I remember, I'm not exactly sure, um, but yes, we do end up scoring that. Hull City have a chance here, they cross it in, and yeah, they're not able to score there, both our players doing a slight tackle, Adam Yemi threw on goal, he would take a shot, and he's able to get it in to make it 4-2 in this game. So yes, the comeback has started, we have scored four straight goals in Hull City, after they are up by two goals, and yes, a very good goal from Adam Yemi. 71th minute here, we, they have it with Longman, Longman passes it to Sink, or Sinky, and he scores, he makes it 3-4, so this game is not over, we're able to score one more with Carney, and he ends up scoring, the game is pretty much over, um, 85th minute here, um, we can't get rid of the ball really, and Traore shoots, and he's not able to score from there, uh, Carney passes it to Alanga, Alanga has a chance, and he scores, and he makes it 6-3 in this game, so pretty big game I won't lie lots of goals in this game and yeah 90th minute here they have a chance here with um, Tetti he would take a shot and he scores it in the, um, the close corner and then yes um, I decided to go on a little bit of an attack because FIFA likes the AI scoring in the last minute so we have a chance here with Adam Yemi he runs the whole field but he's not able to score and yes guys now we'll get into player of the video So guys, that is the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated. And yeah, if you have any comments, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, guys, I'll be back with another video very soon. Peace out.